Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Papa Tom, and I am a part of Eaching's Life. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you very much for those of you that have subscribed to our channel, for all of you that make comments and that are nice and friendly to us. Um, every once in a while, somebody mean makes a comment on our channel, but we just kind of ignore them because, you know, there's the world's full of mean people. Um, so today is Friday. I'm off work today. Um because uh, Eaching has an appointment at 12 o'clock I have to take her to, and I'll watch uh, Wesley while she takes care of her business. So what I'm gonna do today is go to an estate sale. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me, see what I can find there. Um, but first, I wanna give you my Basaya word of the day. So for those of you that don't follow my channel at Papa Tom, go ahead and follow me there if you like it. Um, I like to practice one Basaya word every day. And I take that word to work with me, at the hospital and I try to say it over and over because that's how I try to learn the words. Just one word because it's too hard to try to learn sentences and whole languages. One word a day though, anybody can do that. So I'm gonna show you the word today, all right? Even though I'm off today, I'm gonna practice this. I might tell somebody at the estate sale this joke. Not all of them have good sense of humor. I don't know who they're gonna be. But anyway, so today's word of the day is tomato. You know, red tomatoes. Okay, in Basaya, which is one of the languages of the Philippines, it's the language my wife speaks, the word tomato is pronounced kamatis, with a K, kamatis. And if I didn't get that right, guys, comment down below and let me know, because a lot of you help me understand the, pronunci the proper pronunciations, because all I can do is read the word, I don't actually get to hear it and see how it's actually pronounced. So I'm going to give you a joke, because that's the best way to practice this, these words, right? Everybody likes a joke. So you can tell a joke and put one foreign word in there and people are like, oh yeah, it's still funny. All right, so here's the joke I'm gonna use today. Why did the Kamatis blush? Why did the Kamatis blush? Because it saw the salad dressing. I <laughs> <laughs> Get it? He blushed because he saw the salad dressing. Yeah, you get it, right? He wasn't really dressing, it's salad dressing. Right, I don't have to explain it to you. You guys get it, it's funny. So go ahead and tell that joke. Um, another thing I like to do on my channel, guys, is I like to leave words of advice for my kids, lessons for my kids. And I do this because my kids just don't seem to listen when I tell them things in person. So, you know, growing up when I was young, we didn't have YouTube and we didn't have phone cameras and we couldn't record things. And there's not a lot of evidence of what I did or what I was told. But my kids will be able to watch this YouTube channel, our YouTube channels, and, and hear us and see us long after we're gone. Maybe our grandkids can watch it. Who knows? So I want my kids to be able to, maybe they'll remember some of these things I'm saying later on down the road. Okay? So today's lesson I'm going to give my kids, this one's probably one of the most important lessons I could ever give. All right? This one, this one tugs at my heart. It's so important. <sighs> And it happens all the time wrong, okay? Maybe you guys are with me or maybe you're not with me. I don't know. Toilet paper, okay? When the toilet paper, when you put it on the roll next to the toilet, it absolutely 100% must, the toilet paper must be able to, you must be able to pull it down from the front, okay? Never put that toilet paper on backwards where you have to, pull the toilet paper down from the inside. Does that make sense? You want it to roll towards you, okay? The toilet paper roll should come down in the front of the toilet paper, not in the back of the toilet paper. I can't tell you how many times I go someplace and I, I, I see someone's house, I think, I can't be friends with these people. They don't know how to put toilet paper on the right way. So I don't want my kids to grow up doing it wrong because it is wrong wrong kids toilet paper always has to go on one way and one way only if you put it on backwards it's wrong you've not been taught this in life you've got to fix it so that's my lesson for my kids guys don't mess up the toilet paper roll thanks for watching guys have a good day one eternity later so i'm with susan palish i just met her at the estate sale i'm at today she's got her own youtube channel check it out guys very nice lady but it's raining on oh us so we're gonna God, cut it short stop. oh my it's gosh that's a sign from god i don't know what it means but we're gonna stand under the ledger have a good day, guys. Hey guys, welcome back. So I just got home from, I went to one estate sale today. So I wanna show you what I got. Okay, I haven't even gone through the box yet, but here's my here's my key. I've, I've mentioned this before, but 
the, the, in order to get the best prices when I go to estate sales, I like to find a box or like a laundry basket or a bin full of Christmas decorations or something that might be kind of empty. And I'll put a bunch of things in that so that when I go up to pay or when the, the person running the sale comes to, you know, see how much they're going to charge me, they're going to give me a bulk price for the things I get instead of just going through items one by one going, okay, that shirt, $3, that, that wallet, $7, whatever. So I get a better price, I think. Um, so that's what I have. I have a box. <clears throat> so one of the, one of the people working at the sale, he knows me and he goes, I try to grab some random things and he goes, oh, I've got a box. You can just throw stuff in there. So I don't have to carry it around because they don't let you bring your own bags in because they don't want people stealing things. So I've got a box guys. Here's the box. Can you see that? So it's kind of full. It's just a medium sized box. So they charged me 30 bucks. So I paid 30 bucks for this box. So I'm going to go through it with you and show you what I got. And then we'll see if I get my 30 bucks back from eBay or how much more I get. Okay. So first thing is, I think this estate sale was a, a I'm not sure. I think the owner died and I think the kid, I think they had a daughter that went off to college. So the daughter didn't live there because there wasn't very much uh, of the daughter stuff. There was some kid stuff, which was kind of odd, like young toddler baby stuff. Um, there was a few boxes that had like um, a college age girl in it because I saw some university college stuff. And um, the owner, the guy had, um, there was a, a Kawasaki motorcycle for sale in the garage. He had a Vespa, which is like a uh, like a scooter kind of thing that you can drive around town. Uh, and, and he was a welder. So there was like a, a welding equipment in the garage, but it was too big. Uh, there was, um, most of the stuff in the house was kind of older. There was a women's closet with women's clothes and it looked like someone had taken out all the good stuff. So there wasn't really very much clothes there. I did grab one shirt cause I always try to put some clothes in cause they know I like to get clothes. Um, so it's just a girl shirt. It's, um, by fire Los Angeles. Nothing special, nothing fancy, but it was in good shape, so it's probably 10 bucks, okay? So here we go. So I went to the closet, and you have to go quickly because other people come in at the same time. There were like 10 people waiting to get into this when it opened. Um, so I went to the closet, and I knew that there wasn't anything fantastic in there at all, but I still went to look through because this place looked like they hadn't gone through everything so much, so sometimes you can find on the lower shelves, you'll see things stuck back there that they didn't they didn't find and put out but anyway so the first thing i came across was this box there were jewelry boxes but they were all empty and if you can see the inscription on the box this is a saint john so this is a very high-end brand for women's clothes i mean we're talking thousands of dollars for they have a santana knit is their their high-end like businesswoman um attire so I, I usually buy the St. John's clothes when I find it, if it's not overly priced, because you can resell that stuff for upwards of two, $300 easy. But anyway, so it's a leather case and it's just simply a candle. It's an unused candle. So, you know, it's just a nice generic white candle by St. John. So this, this candle, someone probably paid 20 or 30 bucks for it, but it's a, it's a nice little candle in a leather case. So I got that candle. All right. Remember I paid 30 bucks for the whole box. So 30 bucks. So I have to get my 30 bucks back on eBay and then anything else I get is pure profit. Okay. So I found on a shelf, there was a, a men's shirt, brand new. So a lot of times when I see the shirt still in the packages, I'll, I might grab them because it's, it's not going to cost me very much. So this ha happens to be my size. This is a, a Donald Trump signature, no iron collection. It's just a white businessman's uh, shirt. Um, by Donald Trump and it's uh, 16 and a half by 34, 35. That's exactly my size. So this is a, it's a great shirt for me, even though I don't really wear dress shirts at work where I'm currently at. But, but I mean, it still had the price tag on it. It's from Macy's. Uh, the price at Macy's, someone paid 69.50 for it. So, you know, that's a $70 shirt. Also in the bedroom. So there were some purses, but nothing fabulous or anything. So I saw this on the floor underneath stuff and I noticed, can you see what brand it is? It's a Chanel. It's a little makeup bag by Chanel. Chanel's a very expensive women's brand. It's not, it's not ripped or torn. It's got some marks on it. It's kind of dirty inside from the makeup, but um, can you see that? So that's, that's a Chanel bag. So just that the name alone is what gives this value. Um, it's pink and white 
you know, I'll clean that up a little bit. Yeah, we'll see what we can get for a little Chanel makeup bag. Not too bad. Um, so then there was some kids stuff. I, this is not worth anything whatsoever, but my children, the Ahern kids, all of our friends' kids, they all play Roblox on their phone. So if you're not familiar with what Roblox is, this is what Ro Roblox, that's the name of the game that the kids play. It's just an app that has thousands of different little video games they can play. So I figured, well, my daughter might like reading it. So she likes she likes Roblox things. So I picked that up for her. I'm not going to resell that. Um, in the garage, though, I went through some stuff and I found a bunch of little things in there. So hopefully this is where I found some pretty good money. So like I said, the guy was a welder and he had motorcycles. Um, there were some motors like the there were some heavy duty motorcycle bikes. They weren't leather. They were the racing kind that have the pads in the shoulders. You know they're they're pretty pricey. She wanted like twenty five bucks a piece for them, so I, I wasn't I wasn't too keen on those. But um, so anyways, in the garage and some boxes. So this is a a bag of brand new, a three pairs of brand new cowhide welding gloves. So I didn't you know I don't know what these are worth off the top of my head. They're you know but they're brand new and welders probably would buy this particular brand so i'll look them up this might this might be a little bit of money right here welder gloves i also found this same company um 18 inch split leather sleeves so these are what the welders put these on their sleeves can you see the picture there they put those on their arms to protect them from the sparks coming out of the uh the welding it keeps their their clothes from burning and their skin from burning. So brand new, still in the bag. So what else did I see in the welding box? So um, a two pack of brand new welding goggles. So these are specifically designed for welders so they don't burn their corneas of their eyes while they're welding. So these are brand new and yeah, I don't know what any of this stuff's worth, but they're all brand new. So there's probably somebody, you know, looking to buy that kind of stuff. Um, then I found some, this is also brand new. It looks like it's welding wire. So this is a, a, a roll of, a two pound roll of uh, flux core welding wire. So this is what the welders use when they have the flame. They use this, this is what basically melts the, the metal together, I think. Um, so I have no idea what that's worth, but you know, again, I paid 30 bucks for the whole box. So this is like a whole starter kit for a welding person doing welding, so might be some money. All right, so he, the, the motorcycle the guy had was a Kawasaki. So, you know, if you're a motorcycle lover, you know, Harley Davidson's are probably the most popular name. It was an older, big, heavy bike, and it looked like he'd been doing some work on it. But on the shelf, on the one of the bottom shelves, I found this really cool Harley Davidson flashlight. That's anything Harley Davidson is pretty cool. People buy that, it's, it's people like to have that. You know, there's a guy out there right now that would love to have a, a leather covered Harley Davidson flashlight in his garage to work on his Harley Davidson with. So, you know, it's got the insignia, it's Harley Davidson motorcycle on there. So that's pretty cool. I might just keep that bad boy myself, you know, but that's pretty cool. So a Harley Davidson flashlight. Um, then this was new in the bag. So this is like a, this would be a brake light maybe, a turn signal light. Oh, it's all broken though. So that's just garbage. It's broken inside. Can you see that? I didn't realize it was broken. So that's gonna be one in the garbage. That's all right. Um, just a couple spark, I found a couple spark plugs that were still new on the shelf. So I threw those in my box. You know, I don't know. I don't know if they're old or not. It could be original parts, just a couple spark plugs. And there was, this is still new inside the box. And this is a deluxe battery maintainer and float charger. So this to charge or maintain your 12 volt battery and storage. So this is probably for his motorcycle battery. It, it is, you can see it plugs in and it keeps the battery charged. Um, so it's brand new in the box. I don't know what this is worth either, but you know, anything that's brand new and not opened sells pretty easy. You can you can also sell this kind of stuff on Amazon. Um, so we'll see what that bike or that battery charger sells for. Um, in the in a case that had the girl stuff, there was a lot of snorkeling equipment. So 
I think the the girl was a, a snorkeler. I didn't want to. I don't really need any snorkeling stuff. But there was a pretty nice pair of like snorkel the shoes you would wear when you snorkel. So they're, you know, I don't know what you call them. Mares is the brand. Um, they look in really good shape, barely used, or a little bit dirty. So I'll clean those up, and maybe one of my kids can wear these at the beach or something. Um, yeah, and then the last thing I got was a tackle box. They had some fishing equipment in there, so so I got a you know you can never have enough fishing equipment. So when you're going fishing, so I plan to take the kids fishing here pretty soon, um, teach them how to fish, let them practice fishing. So I've got a couple tackle boxes, but this one again, it wasn't it didn't cost very much for the whole box and everything in there. So um, you know I'm not going to turn down a fully stocked loaded tackle box. So let me show you guys what's inside this box. see that so I mean it's, it's fully stocked full of stuff you know packaged nice um, let me see if there's anything cool in here so I mean it's got you know it's got a bunch of lures fishing hooks gotta be careful not to drop those and with the kids to find those um, just you know, it's got a bunch of brand new fishing hooks and bobbers and um, little lures. And there's a Swiss Army knife in here. Um, just a basic fishing kit. Uh, let's see what's in here. Hooks, sinkers, you know, rubber worms. A lot of this stuff is still new it hasn't even been opened yet so um, just random fishing um, these hooks are specific for bass fish um, so fresh water looks like fresh water um, again just more rubber worms still in the package so quite a few quite a few packs of, of worms artificial worms Sweet, check this bad boy out. Okay. So I mean there's some there's a nice a nice lure still new in the in the package. Stainless steel inox rapala magnum. So I mean, you know, these things, you know, if you're gonna go fishing, you need a tackle box full of stuff. And you know, if you went to the store to buy this, this was bought at a Kmart. It looks pretty old. Um, you know. It was on clearance, probably when Kmart was going out of business. He paid nine bucks for it then. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, this is for me to keep, by the way, so I'm not reselling the, the fishing equipment. But I mean, it's just full of just brand new stuff. Like he stocked it and nev never really used it. So this all looks like it came from Kmart when they were going out of business. Um, you know, some more lures still in the package. Blaze. Um, you know, there's a couple things of fishing line in here. Yeah. Some more laser sharp fishing hooks. So, you know, good good fishing stuff here, guys. And that's it, guys. So that's what I got today. It wasn't a whole bunch of stuff. 30 bucks for it, but I'm pretty confident I'm going to get... I'll probably get 30 bucks for that flashlight alone if I wanted to sell it, so... All this other stuff that's brand new in the package will sell pretty easy just because it's brand new in the package. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Peace. And remember, I've got a saying for you, okay? So every day above ground is a good day. Bye. One eternity later. Guys, the bulldozer thinks I'm weird. Who's weird? Why am I weird? Because he was eating a... a your girl was eating a... Actually, you was getting a piece of bread and then put it some mac and cheese in and then eat it. Yeah, that was a mac and cheese hot dog sandwich. But that uh, you're gross. That's not gross, that's yummy. Mm, you're gross. Do you want to eat one? No. Why not? What's your favorite flavor of yeah. macaroni and cheese? What's that? Wesley Boy. Wesley Boy's here? Yeah. What's he doing? I'm um, looking at me. Looking at you? Yeah. What's he seeing? Like that.
that. Wow. So guys, we have Bella with a bread Lone Ranger mask. She has poked two eyes out of it, using it to mask her identities. And the bulldozer just cut the cheese. Really smells like cheese in here. Mm. That means farts. How do you know what that means? Everybody at school knows this. What do you say? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what was that? Eat your macaroni and cheese, mister.